Hi. Today we are going to show you the do's and the don't at the construction site. One, personal protective equipment. Please wear safety helmet when working in the construction site. Rubber boot with steel toe is required. Safety harness with double lanyard hooks are required. Chin strap must be worn properly when wearing safety helmet. Wearing of long sleeve clothing or hand sock is required in the construction site. Wearing of proper face mask correctly during all times. Two, proper housekeeping and material arrangement. Please maintain good housekeeping regularly Proper material arrangement and good housekeeping. Do not place any material near the building edge. Ensure proper housekeeping under any scaffold structure. Passageway must be free from any obstacles. No obstruction to any electrical DB. Passageway must be free from any obstacles. Hoarding must be clear from any object or material. Proper material stacking using pallets. Provide timber to support the reinforcement bar. Use canvas sheet to protect reinforcement bar. Please provide proper floor protection. Part three, safety passageway. Ensure proper access crossing with handrail is provided. Provide proper access with handrail. 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 Number four, electrical safety. Electrical tools must be inspected and attached with inspection sticker prior to entry. Three pin electrical plug must be well connected to earth. Electrical wire or cable must be elevated with proper pole. Electrical wire or cable must be elevated with proper pole. Electrical wire or cable must be elevated with proper pole. Electrical wire or cable must be elevated with proper pole. Number five, hazardous openings. Lift shaft opening must be properly barricaded with warning indication. The top guardrail for barricade must be 900 mm to 1100 mm height. Edges of opening must be barricaded. Edges of excavation must be barricaded and properly painted as safety indicator. Floor openings must be barricaded and properly painted as safety indicator. Manhole openings must be covered, barricaded with safety indicator. Manhole openings must be covered, barricaded with safety indicator. Number 6. Protruding sharp objects. Reinforcement bars capped properly. Reinforcement bars covered properly. Reinforcement bars covered properly. Protective guard installed for exposed sharp moving parts. Protective guard installed for exposed rotating parts. Number 7. 
Heavy Machinery Safety Provide proper steel plate for each outrigger support Heavy Machinery Operation The surrounding radius are properly barricaded Use nylon web sling for steel structure lifting operation. Use double sling to lift RC pile. Number 8. Scaffold safe operation. Scaffold jack base, properly positioned, and nailed to the duckboard. Double end stopper barricade, provided at the end of every layers of scaffold. Double end stopper barricade, must be used at the end of every layers of scaffold. Scaffold platform must be cleared of any unused material. Scaffold components, must be properly installed. Number 9, Safe Use of a Ladder The two topmost steps on the A ladder is properly covered. Working alone on the A ladder is not allowed. Please practice buddy system always. Working alone on the A ladder is not allowed. Please practice buddy system always. Number 10. Chemical or container labeling. Diesel or chemical container must be properly labeled with the chemical name and its applicable hazard pictogram. Diesel drums also must be properly labeled with the chemical name and its hazard pictogram. Number 11. Others Fire blanket must be provided during hot work activity. Gas cylinders should keep upright with proper caging and fire extinguisher. Leak tray must be provided under the generator. Well, that's all for this video. Please adopt these practices at the workplace. Safe working. Thank you.